Okay, so um, we have our scratch block working where we can click forever, and if I hold down the space bar, the cat goes. If I lift it up, the cat stops. So how do we do this in Greenfoot? Well, let's see. Okay, so I stole a couple of the uh, cat images so I can make a, um, oops, so I can make a uh, scratch cat class here. So let me make a new subclass, call it scratch cat. And click on that guy. All right, so, so now we have a scratch cat. And we kind of have this block written already because if we press the run button we know that our our act method is going to get called over and over again we just need to fill in the act method so we need to write uh, this piece right here so let's kind of look at it piece by piece I'm going to actually remove this part and rebuild it up here so that we can see um, bit by bit what needs to be done over here so I'm going to grab a control block, if then, and stick it here. What does that look like over here? Well, um, in Java, the, the if statement um, kind of resembles a, a method because there's a, a, a header part of it and a body. So, um, what we have is if, and then this bit that's in the, you know, this interesting shape with the angle brackets, um, the condition, that goes um, inside parentheses for our if statement. And then, um, you know, you, we have this empty space where we're going to fill in our uh, statements um, that bit goes also in braces. So just like we have the curly braces for the class, the beginning and the end of the class, we have curly braces for the beginning and end of the um, method, and we have curly braces for the beginning and end of the um, if statement. Now you'll notice there's a little red squiggle here, and if we click up here it says illegal start of expression. That's because we haven't put the um, condition in yet. And I think we'll, we'll save the condition for the next video, but for now what we'll do is go ahead and stick in our move bit here and um, here we would say move, because we know we have a move um, method, let's say move three, because we changed it to three, didn't we? Um, let's see, oh, we still can't get this guy. What I'm going to do just to get this to compile right now is um, basically a condition in Java is any expression, and we'll talk more about expressions later, but any expression that evaluates to either true or false. So I'm just going to put true in here. I could put true in there or I could put false in there. Um, and we'll see what, what we're going to do to get it to work with the space bar in a little bit. But I just want to get it to compile just so we can see uh, that. I just wanted to um, reinforce that we have a, we know we have a, where is it right here? Yeah, a move method that needs a, an int. Um, so we, ha we have the um, condition, we ha and we have the um, action. Um, and if something actually, if something evaluates to true, if 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 the expression in here is true, then this then this happens. If we just use the word true, it's always going to be true. So if I just hit run. We're just going to keep going, right? 
But um, in the next video, we'll look at what we need to do to um, uh, put a condition in here that, that checks uh, to see if the space bar is down.